Teresa is in Los Angeles, and she would be staying here with Whitney, Chad, and Ethan. But why would he not tell me? I mean, how could he not? It's just not like him. Oh. Well, what if, what if I'm wrong? I mean, what if I just thought I saw Ethan and Teresa? Could have been a couple that just look like them from the side. Yeah, I mean, Teresa's back in harmony with her little boy. And if she were out here, right, Whitney, Chad, Ethan, someone would have said something. No, Ethan, Ethan would not lie to me. God, much less make out with her on the beach while I am in the hospital waiting to have our baby. He wouldn't do it. He just wouldn't do it. Wow. Wow. My hormones are really, really running wild. Huh. Oh, my gosh. Talk about going so stir-crazy in the hospital that my mind has taken a complete vacation. Thank God I did not see Ethan and confront him about this because he would have been really angry. Starlight. Star bright. The first star I see tonight. I wish I may. I wish I might. Have this wish that I wish tonight. I wish Ethan would realize that he can't live without me any more than I can live without him. Well, I should go straight back to the hospital, but maybe I'll just surprise Ethan and stay in the apartment with him tonight after all. But I definitely will not tell him how crazy and suspicious I was of him and Teresa earlier. You're going to decide which woman you love more, Gwen or Teresa. I can't. I can't ask myself that question. And why not? Because I'm married to Gwen. She's having my baby. I can't afford to ask myself that question. As if you can't escape it. One of these days, that question's going to be answered for you anyway. If I told Ethan what I thought I saw on TV tonight, he would know for sure that I'm losing my marbles. And of all the men in the whole world, who wouldn't cheat on their wives? Ethan's at the top of the list, and I can't believe I even let myself doubt him even for a minute. Oh, my God. That's her. She is in L.A. after all. You bitch. When?